Hi, everyone. So there are a thousand different ways you can take a picture of yourself, but if you've got a great background behind you in that picture, it makes the picture better. I'm Ian Miller, and I'm a photographer, and I've got a problem right now that I spend way too much time and effort trying to hunt down the best backgrounds to take my photo shoots against. So how do you currently find great backgrounds to take photos against? You might follow tourists around and see where they're taking pictures. You might sift through blogs and other online resources. You might ask your friends, or maybe shoot photos as well, when they take their backgrounds. Um, and you may wander around and just hope to get lucky and find a great background to take photos against. That's why we created Backdrop. Backdrop is a mobile app that makes it easy for you to take a picture of a compelling background and share that with other photographers so they can also take pictures against that background. Now I want to jump into a demo for you. So over the course of the weekend, we were able to create both an iPad demo as well as an Android demo. Philip here is going to give an actual working demo to the judges, but I'll give you guys screenshots so you can see too. So when you load it up, it shows you backdrops near you, and you can change the radius if you want stuff within walking distance or driving distance, or if you want to scout out stuff in foreign cities. You can click on one of these backgrounds, and to see the full screen version of it, you can see a description about, you know, uh, how to get to that background, whether it's likely to change over time, what time of day it was that the background was taken. You also get a, a, an example of uh, when it was taken with the date on that. You can click on the Get Directions to bring up the Google Map to find out how to get to that location. And you can also submit, you can also submit your own backdrop by entering a quick description, taking a picture, and uploading it. Now I want to jump into the Android demo. So the Android demo, we're actually able to make use of Qualcomm's Context SDK to do geofencing around some of our backdrops. We have this, in, there are two purposes for this. The first is, when you, with the app installed on Android, it'll notify you when you get um, into a new city and how many backdrops are in that city. So a lot of photographers travel. So you land in San Diego, come from, from San Francisco. Are there backdrops here? Yes, yes there are. So how many backdrops are there that are sick nearby? So I know that when I get into San Diego, I've got stuff that I can go around and find. Then additionally, I can tap that, see a map interface about where those uh, backdrops are, and uh, I can tell the app whether I want it to text me once I'm near those app drop, backdrops, or if I don't want that notification. Once I get close to that one of those backdrops, it'll alert me, I can tap that to see a preview of the backdrop and get directions to it. So we didn't want to just hack this weekend. We also want to do some customer validation um, and some business assumption validation. So we went out and we did a survey online. We also went and talked to people in the gasoline district last night. Um, we found that 80% of people were really interested in finding more compelling backgrounds. So this is a common problem. They might have some backgrounds already, but they're definitely interested in finding more. 95% of our respondents were actually interested in sharing those backdrops with people too. There was a concern that people who found really great backdrops maybe weren't willing to share them. They want to hang on to them and keep them a secret. But we found that was not the case. 95% of people were also interested in keeping a mobile app as part of their sharing experience with those backdrops. So how do we grow this thing? I think Instagram has definitely proven the case that we want to keep the app free, generate as much user adoption as possible to gain interest and further user adoption. But we also want to start monetizing right away. Um, we initially toyed around with the idea of, of charging photographers, but again, we want to keep adoption as aggressive as possible. We talked about soliciting scouts, soliciting two scouts so that they could actually contract backdrops on specific locations. So a scout might say, I want to get all the backdrops in San Diego. Um, but instead of that, instead of them kind of going out and sequestering these backdrops, we flipped it upside down and said that studios, once we have enough, um, once we have a significant amount of backdrops in a location, are going to be interested in, in licensing that data. Studios right now pay thousands of dollars to scouts to go out and scout locations to see if they're going to be good fits for photo shoots or for movies. So where are we at the end of the week? We've produced an iPhone and iPad client. We've produced an Android client using Qualcomm's contextual SDK. We've done user and market validation. We've produced an explainer video. And we've launched our website at backdrop.com, our Facebook page, which has over 50 likes, and our Twitter feed. We're backdrop and we make location scouting easy. Thanks everyone.